Welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. My name is Katie Fredrickson, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the all new Grady top, which is a very versatile three-in-one bikini top made to be completely reversible. To make this top, you will need fabric, elastic, a ring, which this exact ring is safe for swimwear and it can be found from our shop, so that will be linked in the description. If you need elastic or fabric or any other swimmer notions, then check out that link for many more products. A rotary cutter, a seam ripper, a loop turner, an acrylic ruler, and finally, the pattern for the Grady top. If you'd like to get the pattern for the Grady top, that will be linked in the description. Today, I'm cutting the back piece on the fold and I'm using one bust piece. When you purchase the pattern, you can cut out both bust pieces and assemble the full back piece if you're more comfortable with that. The first step is using your pattern to cut the pieces you need from your fabric. So we're gonna cut four bust pieces total and two back pieces total. Since I'm using one bust piece, I'm going to flip it over in my fabric to make sure I've accounted for the opposite bust piece. So you're gonna cut two bust pieces in your primary fabric and two in your lining and then one in your lining and one in your fabric for your back piece. Next, cut your wrap straps according to the measurements provided inside of the pattern. These are the straps that will wrap around your waist, so there's no need to cut any other shoulder straps or anything else. Now you'll wanna match each piece with the right sides together and sew along the following areas that I'm pointing out on the video. For the wrap straps, you're going to fold them in half and sew the raw edges. You can also finish off one end of the wrap straps for a seamless look, or you can wait until the last step in this tutorial. Now add elastic to all the seams you're sewing except to the wrap straps. Once all the sewing is done, use a loop turner to bring the wrap straps all the way to the right side. Now insert the wrap straps into the inner opening of each bust piece while the bust pieces are still inside out. Right sides should be together while you're doing this. Then pin and sew to attach the wrap straps to each bust piece. Now that that's done, take each bust piece to the right side. Now bring your back piece back into the picture and with the back piece still inside out, insert each bust piece inside and line up the sides and shoulder straps. Do this with both pieces. Make sure everything is tucked inside and that your right sides are matching. Pin and then sew both sides and shoulder straps across all four layers of fabric. Now for this step, I'm using a straight stitch because it can help the garment lay nicely when it's turned to the right side. The straight stitch will not stretch because it runs vertically instead of horizontally, so no need to worry about that. If you do this with a serger, you won't need to trim the excess after you sew, but since I used a straight stitch this time, I did end up trimming the excess elastic and fabric just to prevent bulkiness. Seam rip a one inch hole somewhere along an existing seam on the back piece. Lately I've been putting it under the shoulder for a little more of a discreet placement. Through this hole, take everything to the right side. Finish off the hole we ripped as well as the two raw edges on the wrap straps if you didn't already. And you can do this with either an invisible stitch or a top stitch. Next, get your swimwear safe ring and thread both wrap straps through it. And here is the final result for the Grady top. In this tutorial, I made the top with a ring, but what's great about this pattern is it can be worn more ways than just that. Here are three ways I've come up with, and if you find more ways to wear it, then send us a message on Instagram or email me with some pictures. It's crazy to see what you guys come up with.
And that's it for today. Remember to check out the Grady Top pattern, follow at Edgewater Ave on Instagram, join the Facebook group and blah, 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 blah. You know the rest. Bye guys.